There are a lot, and I do mean a lot, of slurs out there. Whether racial, religious, or even homophobic, it seems every group these days has a colorful no-no word associated with it. But here's the question. Out of the hundreds of slurs out there, which ones are the best? That's why today I'm bringing you my picks for the top 10 slurs of all time. Keep in mind, this is my personal opinion, so if you don't see your favorite slur on the list, I'm sorry in advance. Without further ado, let's kick things off with number 10, SPED. More of a newcomer on the slur scene, SPED is an abbreviated version of special education, and right now it's most commonly used by black teenagers on TikTok, but I predict that within a few years, SPED will be one of the most popular slurs of all time, though it is quite shitty compared to the rest of the list to be totally honest. Number 9, Beaner. When it comes to Mexicans, there's like no good slurs out there. When was the last time you heard someone get called a spick? Most people probably aren't even aware there are Mexican slurs, and that's where Beaner comes in. Beaner is definitely the most counteractive slur in the entirety of the English lexicon. The whole point of a slur is that it's supposed to demean the group it's targeted at, but whenever I hear someone say Beaner, they're fucking Mexican, and they're laughing at how stupid the word sounds. Number 8. Retard. No matter who you are, you've probably said retard at least once in your life. Like, you're literally calling people retarded before you know how to fucking walk. But sadly, as time has gone on and more slurs have come into the meta, retard just doesn't see as much use anymore. Don't get me wrong, bitches will still cry about it on Twitter. It's just that it's never really gonna feel like it did back in the good old Xbox days. Number 7. Kike. Kike certainly has the monopoly when it comes to Jewish slurs. Like, I can't even fucking pronounce the rest of these. What the hell does this one even say? So whenever I need to greet a Jew, I'll know exactly what word to turn to. Number 6. Dyke. While definitely a more rare slur, Dyke has recently began to gain more popularity as 12-year-olds on Twitter with Zzair in their bio have found a new way to feel oppressed. But I liked using Dyke way before Twitter found it, even though it was just kind of a once in a blue moon term. Number 5. Slut. It's just such a weird word now. Some women will piss themselves over it, while others seem to take it as a compliment. Before the whole OnlyFans craze, slut was actually like a top 3 word. But now that every woman seemingly wants to be a slut, it's just kinda cringe. And eventually it won't even be top 10 worthy. Number 4. Autist, or autistic if you want to be a little fancy with it. The true successor to retard, autist has seen widespread use as an easy insult. You just did something stupid, then you're fucking autistic. You saw something confusing, damn, that's autistic. Literally anything you don't like, damn bro, that's kind of autistic. Plus the rise of openly neurodivergent people has caused autist to be seen as one of the most offensive things you can possibly say. But if you ask me, that's kind of autistic. Number faggot. And I specifically mean faggot, because fag is just a watered-down, cringe, gay version of its superior older brother. This used to actually be my favorite word of all time. Not just favorite slur, I mean favorite word. I probably used to say faggot at least 20 times a day. I was just completely in love with that string of letters. And to be honest, I still don't really know why. I guess I just thought it sounded funny or something stupid like that. But yeah, I still consider faggot to be a pretty top tier on the overall slur tier list. Number 2 is Tranny, and this slur doesn't actually see that much use from the average person, but I've given it a whole new meaning which has resulted in me using it all the time. Tranny traditionally is used as a derogatory term aimed at trans people, go figure. But I use Tranny in order to refer to ugly people, so that means even if someone isn't trans, they can still end up being a tranny in my mind because of the new definition I've given to the word. This has resulted in me saying Tranny far more than I say any of the other words on this list. Number one, it's nigger. What else could it possibly have been? We all know the mystical N-word is considered to be the worst thing you can say ever. The one true holy grail of expletives. No word in all of human language has as much power as the N-word. It offends blacks. It offends whites. It offends fucking dogs. Literally everyone and their grandma finds the N-word offensive, which ironically only makes people want to use it more. If slurs had anime power scalings, nigger Nigger wouldn't even fit on the fucking graph, so it's no surprise that I and many others consider it to be the number one slur of all time. Anyway, subscribe to the channel or all of these slurs will appear in your room at 3am.